Coming across the wire, Microsoft leaks its own stuff. Did, did that go to like all insider yep. people? That's good stuff. Yeah. So for those who uh, didn't get my very poorly, whatever intro there, uh, Microsoft hit a button, wrong <laughs> one, accidentally, and uh, pushed an internal, a canary build, which is it, roughly speaking 24 hours old to everyone. Just, just everyone, every insider, just a little, little present here or there. And uh, shown off in that is an updated start menu. Now, th there's a lot to kind of unpack here. One, it looks different, but the same at the same time. What I honestly think this is, this is like identical to the Windows Lite um, yep. mechanism that I've seen. I even did a, a mock-up of it. it. Like, this is what it looks like, folks. And so here's a build where you can actually enable that feature. And so knowing that, I don't know if this is truly replacing the start menu, like whole hog, but this is definitely in the works for a version of Windows at some point. Whether or not it comes to everybody, it might. Um, but that's, you know, that that is like the sprinkling of just keep that in mind as you're looking at this. Because it's it's different. There's no live tiles. No live tiles. They're, just, they're out. Yeah. Live tiles, you know, one of those uh, huge Microsoft user experience fails. Um, they tried for many years to make that work. And I, you know, I thought live tiles made a lot of sense on a phone. Uh, live tiles make zero sense on a computer. Yep. And the fact that you never were able to pin them to the desktop, which is where they would actually make sense in Windows 10, not nested inside the even, menu. Even the taskbar, you know, yeah. if you could, if you, if you show, you know, yeah. Literally anywhere that's not hidden because the whole value is that you can see them out of the corner of your eye, they're doing stuff and whatever. Um, if a live tile updates and no one sees it, Brad, is it really live? Wow. Mm-hmm. Wow. That's your Zen Zen moment of the day. And, and we're out. We're out. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> we're done. So that's the big news of the day. If you do have the build, uh, Microsoft mm -hmm. has supposedly started to claw it back. Not claw it back, but <laughs> stop the bleeding, if you will. Like, I installed I, it on my yeah, Surface yeah, yeah. Studio. Just... If you are have, do have it installed, just be really careful because there's no telemetry. Microsoft doesn't know this could have some sort of bug that just wipes your hard drive for all that we know. Um, just just keep that in mind. It's going to be a little more, could potentially, I should say, be more rocky than a typical fastering build. So it could have more uh, secrets in it too. So it could, it very well could. The funny thing is, this is actually coming from some of this stuff comes from like the Xbox branch. Um, yeah. I, I haven't yeah, quite yeah. fully figured this out yet. I've got some feelers out there to kind of understand what was actually shipped and how this played out. But mm -hmm. yeah. Interesting. Yep. Yep. So that's that's that. Um, not Arguably the first real interesting Windows build this year. Yeah. Uh, it, it really is. And it, it yep. accidentally showed up. Um, I'm sure somebody's having a very good morning because of this. But that's why, Brad, I'm running... An older version of Windows at home now because <laughs> Windows 10 is just too boring. It, it is. You know why? Let, let's go back to the world of, um, I don't know, Windows Media Center. Paint. No, let's go back further than that. You know, if you go back beyond Windows 3, mm -hmm. um, there was like, there was basically like a DOS launcher built into Windows called MS DOS Executive. It was literally mm -hmm. just a plain text listing of your executables. Nice. Yeah, that's how that's how sophisticated that thing was. Actually, it looks a lot like that star menu you're looking at right now. I think about. <laughs> it is a little bit like that, yeah, which without the icons vaguely reminds me of something my dad did when we were growing up. We had an Apple, I think Apple IIc or Apple IIe, one of those ones, whatever it was, uh, and he wrote a program that was very similar to that. Like it was just basically an interface so that me and my brothers could put in the disk and then select that game from the list and all that stuff. And so he wrote up this like nice kind of user interface experience. And uh, the first thing my oldest brother did was he sat down and the interface is up and he hit escape. That was the first button my brother hit and it crashed the whole thing. <laughs> you know, computer systems would be great if it wasn't for those damn users. Yep. You could, he, my brother could hit any button except escape. And he did and it crashed the whole thing. And my dad just, <laughs> just lost That's it. Excellent. So... Uh, not much else is going on. There is a purple Fortnite controller coming out, which I'm not, I don't play Fortnite, but I will tell you that I do like the color purple. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that is, um, intriguing. previously available only in a bundle. Yeah. But now our soon will be separate, I guess. Yep. Still waiting for them to do that with the elite stuff, but 
Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I don't expect that, but no. Yeah. And then the only other thing worth talking about, which finally, I guess, is LinkedIn is moving over to Azure, which they say, they, they say was wholly an internal decision at LinkedIn and that Microsoft had no influence uh, over this decision. But, you know, it's... Um, you, you LinkedIn got... using Microsoft technology, it's the least they could do. Yeah. Thank you. You know. Yeah. They're like, oh, they decided internally after doing reviews of service. Like, come on, guys. You're right. They're, they're sitting around the... the exec meeting then they're all going why aren't you using our stuff you're costing us money at some point someone at microsoft's going to be like why can we stop pretending this is a separate company mm -hmm. and just rein in this nonsense i mean it worked out so well for skype i don't know why why they're not doing it with everything they buy sure so um that is that you are over in the dams i am not oh right right so by the way 38.5 communist units <laughs> is a record high temperature for the netherlands I believe it's, where is it, 101 point. I was going to say, it's right around 100 freedom units. Yeah, 101.3 1 Fahrenheit. So this is a, a record here. So, mm -hmm. you know, USA, USA, whatever we say to those things. <laughs> well, I'm um, just happy you could be there to experience it. Yeah. And... yeah, yeah. I also just wanted to mention, because we had that Huawei contest to win the Matebook mm -hmm. 13, and I did select the winner finally a day late, but I did do that. And uh, I don't want to give out her full name because I don't want to violate anyone's <laughs> privacy, but her name is Candace T, and uh, she's Tay Chas over on Therat.com. Congratulations. So I've given that information to Huawei. I mean, they're Chinese. They probably already. <laughs> and that is the last giveaway we will ever yeah, have on the site. I am kidding. No, it was, it was really nice of those guys yep. um, to do this. And, um, and by the way, an awesome laptop, too. Yep. Um, so, yeah, congratulations. Okay. Yep. And uh, before I forget, because I don't know what else we're going to talk about, um, show programming notes, folks. Uh, I am heading out on a we long weekend excursion for my birthday over the weekend. Um, so there's going to be no show Thursday or Friday. And then Paul, because he's Paul, is taking, I'm just kidding. Uh, he's taking, he's out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So we were going to be off for a week, which is honestly probably a good thing because there's just so much to talk about this time of the I year. Know. There's I know. just... Did you have, I mean, you did Windows Weekly last week. I was just doing the notes today. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, man, there is nothing to talk about. Like, it's just really slow. Last week had some stuff. I mean, mostly because it was, in, remember, you guys didn't get to talk about Inspire because of the, the release was on a Thursday. So we had all that stuff. Um, yep. And then there was some other Microsoft riffraff in there. I and, guess uh, there's, I think we can do earnings, I guess. Yeah, you got but, earnings. My God. It's... This is, well, I mean, half of Microsoft is on vacation right now. The other half is just pushing up builds whenever they feel like it. I was going to say, just pushing random buttons to see what happens. <laughs> what are you working it's, at Chernobyl? Stop pushing the buttons. It's, it's clearly the B squad <laughs> in there doing? just going, ah, you know what, we'll yeah. just push it to wherever. And um, some guy's just sitting there just drinking his coffee. Because <laughs> the thing is, the timing didn't make sense. It's, it had oh. to have been like a European push or something. Interesting coincidence. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Paul, yeah. what? What were you doing in the Amsterdam offices? Um, so somebody was just, I don't know, probably went to send an email and somehow executed a script. and Sure. There you go. Probably using Skype and it crashed and some kind of weird combination of things happened. <laughs> or they're quitting and this is how they're leaving. <laughs> just yep. just yep. one more big old F you. All right. You got anything else for today before we shut it down? Whew. I do not. All right, we'll have a good, um, I guess, mini vacation or whatever. Yeah, it's just a, just a little Long jaunt. Weekend. Are you right. driving? Is that what yeah, you're we are. Gonna, yeah, because there's no like, we could. There's no way sure. to fly. Like, we're going to. Everybody's going to be curious. We're going to the like very top of Michigan. Like, right. The as my wife calls it, the hand side of Michigan or lower Michigan. <laughs> we're going to the very top. So our options to fly there would be to f basically fly to Detroit, and then it's a four-hour drive from Detroit. Yeah. And so it's yeah. a four hour drive from Cincinnati to Detroit. And we're like, well, it, yeah, yeah. what are we, what are we going to save? Like, and then we would need to rent a car and there's not like a seaplane option or something. You could there, just land. There probably is, but from a timeline perspective, it's just easier. It's only, yeah. I think we can do it in like seven hours. So oh, it's still, okay. And you're going Thursday, coming home Sunday. Sunday? Yeah. Wow. That's a, that's a tight trip. It says the guy who went to Amsterdam for 24 hours. <laughs> that's true that was dumb <laughs> <laughs> i had a lot of other things going on at the time but yes so, fair enough anyways we'll see 
we'll see what happens. But everybody else, folks, that wraps it up for about a week. Uh, if anything else comes up, we'll see what happens. But uh, we'll catch you right back here next week. Have yourselves a wonderful weekend, and we'll catch you on the other side.